The Winning Cures Everything Playoff Predictions for College Football. It is predictions for the end of the year, not what we think it is right this second. So we're not doing it based on resume currently. This is based on what we think it will be. Uh, This is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can bet on any football game at any of their six sportsbook locations. Go to tunicatravel.com for more information. Let's jump right in. Uh, let me. We're not going to do our, our teams that were left out or anything like that. We're just going to go four through one, who we think will be in the playoff at the end of this season. You want to jump in first? Who's your number four? Central Florida. Central Florida. I don't see anybody beating them. I think they're going undefeated. You cannot leave them out. Even if... Nope. Like, so, you, so just nope. nothing, just... No. Nope. Got to get them in. Got to get them in. All right, my number four is Oklahoma. I don't think that the Big 12 is good enough this year to stop them. I, I think had they played West Virginia early, I think West Virginia could have caught them. But I do think that West Virginia will handle, like they will have some injuries by the end of the season. It happens with everybody. You're you're going to lose starters. And I think that Oklahoma, even if they lost to like Texas or whoever, they will beat whoever they're supposed to in the Big 12 championship game. And Oklahoma will be in at number four. My number three, Fighting Irish from Notre Dame. That's exactly who I've got. For your number three? Do we have the exact same? Like if we, well, I mean, after that, maybe, but I don't know if it's the same order. Well, I've got Notre Dame number three. Uh, they look really good under Ian Book. He, I think they found their quarterback. Brian yeah. Kelly hadn't had a quarterback yet. It's like Brian Kelly with a quarterback that can run his offense. Yep. It is a whole nother level. That's, that's right? exactly it. Like that's that's what makes this so crazy. Is something that they has always had that. something has always looked off about that offense. And and, and when he now. was at you know all these other places, uh, he had a quarterback. He won his two Division two national chi- or national titles with a quarterback. He looked unbeatable at Cincinnati with a quarterback. Like, that's all I'm saying. They they look really good, and the schedule sets up. Well, and the defense is good. The offensive yeah. line is still good. So long as they find a replacement for yeah. their center, Correct. then then they will be fine. They can, they can still everything. run the ball, but their defense looks pretty good, yeah, too. Defense I mean, they're, they're, is, uh, they're playing really well. And I, I was wrong on that. I thought losing Mike Elko was going to be awful for them. Clark Lee looks good. He he's called really good ball games, so I've I've got Notre Dame number three. Who's your uh, who's your two? My number two is Alabama. Okay, I got Alabama number two because I don't think they get out of the SEC undefeated, and which means they're once again going to get in by not playing in the SEC championship game. You think they could? You think they would be number two if they don't play in the SEC championship? Well, I don't think they'll put UCF or Notre Dame over them. You might be right. Well, I mean, if Notre Dame's undefeated, I could see that. Um, I don't know about that, but either way. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. I've got Ohio State number two. Uh, I think Ohio State has has run through the most difficult part of their schedule. These two road games were tough. Now they play at Purdue and at, what, Minnesota or something like that. Like, it's, it's well, something crazy. Those aren't the last two games on the season. No, but the, the last game of the season is Michigan. And they get them at home in the horseshoe. And then they've got the Big Ten Championship game. And I'm going to guess it's Wisconsin. Like, I mean, it, Wisconsin could slip up and lose a couple of games. And then Iowa could get in, right? Like, I mean, but the Big Ten West is nothing compared to the East. Uh, they get Michigan State at home. They get Michigan at home. You know, like, I, I think Ohio State is is set to run this thing. My number one is Georgia. I think Georgia runs. I don't know that they run the table, but – if they win the SEC championship game with one loss, then they're going to get in over – they're going to be the higher seed than Alabama. Okay. And I've got Alabama number one. Uh, now, I'm thinking this based on, all right, if Georgia gets left out, like I could see Georgia losing the SEC championship game and then Oklahoma jumping in over them because they win the Big Ten championship game. Like Oklahoma could easily lose to Texas this, week, uh, this weekend and work their way back up. Like I said – I don't, I don't have a Big Twelve team. I don't have a Big Ten team. I don't have an ACC team. I don't have a Pac twelve team. In, I've got the SEC, I've the got AAC. an AAC, and then I've got and an independent. An independent. <laughs> Boy, that'd be take some that fired for up ratings. ESPN, believe that. 
believe that. All right, that is our playoff prediction after week number five.